one of Saudi Arabia's largest construction firms, the Bin Laden Group, has announced it's laying off around 77 foreign and 12,000 Saudi workers. Low oil prices have forced Bin Laden and other construction companies to delay paying some workers' salaries. In response, some have stopped turning up for work. Now, thousands of employees also attacked the company buildings, crashed vehicles and set fire to company buses. The company was suspended from receiving a new state contract after a crane collapse in Mecca killed 107 people. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by Ahmed al Abrahim. He's a Saudi affairs specialist and joins us from Riyadh. Uh, Ahmed, good to speak to you uh, this morning. So what's behind these huge job cuts with the Bin Laden firm? Well, as you know, Bin Laden Group, uh, they have a historical alliances with the Saudi government. They've been, uh, <clears throat> they've been in the business almost 85 years. And you were talking about the biggest construction company in the world. Uh, at a minimum uh, labor count, they were about 200,000 uh, employees. They contribute to the Saudi economy so much. They get a lot of projects. They are the builders, and they have been known that they are the builders of the uh, two holy mosques in Mecca and Al Medina. Uh, they've done a great job. Uh, their their work has been uh, quality. Uh, it's all the time. Uh, so why are they Saudi sacking Laden, so many people? Uh, has been successful. I, I'm sorry, um, I didn't so, get your question. So why are they sacking so many people? They are firing, you know, first of all, it's a fact that the oil prices went down. The, econ uh, the economy uh, in Saudi Arabia is, uh, uh, how can I say, it's restarting right now. The government has pulled back most of the project and they are re-evaluating these projects in order to make sure that the dollar amount to these projects is right. Bin Laden today, they have over 163 billion rial to be completed. Uh, however, uh, the struggle of uh, delaying payments uh, from uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the government and the creditors and uh, to Bin Laden has really came to an effect on them. They own so much equipment, they own so much uh, uh, materials, they own so much, uh, they have such a big uh, um, over cost on them and this is what actually have them to deteriorate it like this. Absolutely. Uh, Bin Laden, I think they're gonna come back uh, I think uh, it's a hiccup. The question is, um, and, and this is probably where I should ask, is that the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Labor at this time should help Bin Laden because as a Bin Laden is a national secure to the economy. Today you are talking about uh, letting go 15,000 Saudis. These 15,000 Saudis, they do have families that they are taking care of. Uh, also, Bin Laden do, gov, uh, do give uh, subcontracting to other companies. So you're going to talk about uh, about 800,000 Saudis, they're going to be affected if Bin Laden gets affected. And this is what how we have seen uh, in America and in the beginning when and Obama stepped in and he started giving stimulate pa packages to the car manufacturer or to the construction company. I think the Saudi government with the, with, with the Minister of Finance and the Ministry of Labor, they need to help Bin Laden to come back because it's a job security for a lot of Saudis. Absolutely. And it's, it's a good company. Uh, they've done so much work and they are all about quality. Okay, so well, I I'm think, in. and, and just... Uh, Yes. Just, just what, does, what do you think this tells us about uh, the Saudi economy? This is just really the latest sort of uh, about face by the Saudi economy. There have been changes with subsidies, cuts. Um, is this the Saudi uh, royal family and the Saudi government trying to survive now in a post-oil world or looking towards a post-oil world? Listen, uh, Saudi Arabia have changed. It has changed and it's changed uh, really fast, really quick. I don't think we should be scared about the Saudi economy. We have almost one trillion dollars in bonds in the United States. We have 300 billions as reserve dollars in Saudi Arabia and the ground is giving us 450 million dollars per day. That's the, what, what we're pumping as far as oil. And we have a lot of sources of income. The question is, is taking everything and we're trying to modernize it. We're trying to review these contracts. We're trying to negotiate some of the contracts. You know, some people in other countries, they pay for um, uh, uh, their goods for $10. In Saudi Arabia, they sell it for $100. So the government has been taking these kind of contracts and they need to negotiate. So they are making the, that the, the money is wise spent. Some of the project that Saudi Arabia has been approved in the past 20, 
30 years or the project that is going to be actually implemented in the coming 10 years, some of these projects probably did not have a case, a good case study or it's too early to do or it's, uh, it's probably not necessarily. So it's not about the Saudi economy is weak. The Saudi economy is restarting and they want to restart it in a good way. No doubt the oil prices went from $100. Today we are talking about $45. We want to pass the area of oil, but we cannot be so uh, unsure to be independent from oil. Oil is going to be always a major uh, structure of our economy. Um, uh, the deputy crown prince, he want to uh, increase uh, exports of Saudi Arabia. I think this is a good deal. I think we can do that within the coming four years. Okay. And if you close the imports and the exports, you know you're going to get a good economy and you're going to restart the people. You're going to have more ground force of Saudis that, uh, that's going to work and it's going to create, create more good jobs in Saudi Arabia. But okay, ca coming back to the first subject, Bin Laden has to be come back. It's a secure to the economy. It's a huge company. It's the biggest company. And we need Bin Laden to be back. Okay, you made your point there. Ahmed Al-Ibrahim, always good to speak to you. Thank you for joining us at TRT World.